Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. We are doing a freezer organization and tour. You guys will get to see all of the freezer meals that I have on hand that I made before baby girl comes. Let's get into it. Very first thing that I'm gonna be starting with here is my freezer. You can see there's like no organization to it. And that's because I was just throwing things in as I was freezing them. I went ahead and did all of these freezer meals over the course of like a week. So I wanted them to freeze like on their own before I would stack them just so nothing would overflow or anything like that. So we need to bring everything out <laughs> so that I can organize it and also write an inventory list of what is in here. Like I said, first step is just to take everything out of the freezer. I felt like I couldn't really see anything. I had just stacked things all willy nilly. It did pay off in the end though, because I had things nicely stacked together and they kind of fit together, which is great. But for the meantime of like freezing it in the beginning, it definitely took up some extra space. And I love how this transformation turned out. So make sure you guys stay till the end to see that. Here is our empty freezer. We just have our dog food on the bottom there, but honestly, I'm kind of surprised because we have not used this thing for very long and I already need to clean it out. Like you can see some spots right down there. And there's also some crumbs in like the doorways and stuff like that too. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that all out. I did clean out this entire freezer before we even froze it, like after it came off the truck and into our garage. Um, but I'm going ahead and using some of the force of nature cleaner here and just like a microfiber cloth. And you're about to see that the microfiber cloth does not work at all for absorbing any of this stuff. So I actually had a pile of donation clothes <laughs> in the corner of the garage and ended up using an old pair of sweatpants that were just like all cotton and they did a way better job at absorbing. So I am not mad about it, but I definitely thought that was an interesting turn of events I was not about to walk my booty back into the house and grab like a cotton towel just for the video so I hope you guys appreciate the realness but we're going to use these Victoria's Secret sweatpants and wipe everything down including the little door pockets here what do you guys call these things let me know in the comments below <laughs> Okay, let's take a little inventory here. This is what we have. So many things, and this is not even all of it. All of it. I actually have like a big trash bag behind me that's filled with tons of freezer stuff from our kitchen freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in, and then we are going to do a like an inventory checklist. I wanted to try and get things back into the freezer as quickly as possible here. Um, so I went ahead and just started with like everything on the doors that I know I like to keep there. We love to keep our popsicles up here because Logie Bear knows where they are. And then I went ahead and finally took the stickers off of these freezer bins. Um, I can't remember which video it was where I shared that I had these freezer bins with you guys. I think it was like something like setting up my new freezer or something like that. And I said I needed to clean these bins off and I never got around to doing it. It was much harder after they were frozen. So I highly suggest just just doing it when you get them um and I was just using like my fingernails to chip it off and then wiping it down with like the force of nature cleaner but you know what would work even better is a drop of lemon essential oil and it would take it right off after you let it sit for just a little bit but again wasn't gonna walk my booty back into the kitchen to get that um and then I'm just setting up my freezer bins here so that I can fill them and I quickly learned during this process that I needed to write my inventory list before I put everything back in because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to see everything and by what it looks like at the end I can definitely tell that I wouldn't have been able to see everything so I think that was a smart move. And here is me writing that said inventory list. Again, I thought I was gonna do this at the end, but I just don't think I would have been able to see everything. So I went ahead and started writing things out, especially as they were on the floor and I could see them easily with all of the markings. I also suggest, highly, highly suggest, marking everything that you possibly can. You will forget what it is. You think that you won't. You think that you'll remember what date you made it or exactly what it is or how to reheat it. But man, you guys, we have so many other things going on in our heads. I highly suggest just marking every single package that you put into your freezer, especially if it's homemade meals. But we are going to go ahead and get back to putting everything back into the freezer because I really don't want any of this stuff to melt.
As you guys can probably tell by this point, I am literally just winging this. I kind of had somewhat of a plan in my head and it didn't even necessarily work out the way that I thought it was going to, but I think it ended up perfect in the end. I'm going to go through every single item in here at the end of this video. So make sure you stay for that. I'm going to be showing you every single freezer meal that I have on hand and exactly how I organize them and why. And I think it's going to make a lot of sense to you and hopefully it helps some of you guys out. But that was it. <laughs> Looks so much easier, right? It took me quite a while, especially being out of breath with this big old belly, but I think it looks really, really nice and definitely a, a lot of like empty space in there, which you do want some in, empty space in your freezer just so that the cold air can circulate. Oh my goodness, you guys, it looks so pretty. Everything is so organized. I have a full inventory list. So I wanna go through everything that I've gotten here and just let you know what we've got going on. So I'm trying to make this as user-friendly as possible. We got a stand-up freezer because we wanted things to be organized and I wanted to be able to see everything. So I'm also wanting to make sure I have enough space in my freezer just to allow the cold air to come through and everything stays frozen. We don't get a ton of freezer burn or anything like that so up on my top row here I tried to make this like breakfast so that it was easy I know exactly where to look for breakfast it's not breakfast here a little bit of breakfast there and some scattered down here I want it all together so up here I have one thing of chocolate chip muffins and then two things of apple cinnamon homemade muffins all of this is homemade food we have about I think it was like nine or ten smoothie bags right here and right here just a few overflow we've got some breakfast burritos right back here and some oat cookies if you guys are wondering how to make any of these go ahead and check out the breakfast freezer meals video that I will have linked down below for you. I have all the recipes in there and I show you exactly how I go about making it. Then down here, <laughs> we have our cookies right there. These Sweet Lawrence cookies are incredible. If you're wondering where I get this big pack, it's from Costco and it's way more cost effective if you can find them there. So if you can find them, go ahead and grab them. They're totally allergy friendly, gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, peanut and tree nut free. And they're basically just like ready to go baked cookies. They're not already baked. <laughs> you bake them yourself. You can also eat them raw though. But we like to keep them in the freezer because they will stay better longer. And we like to do family cookie nights. So I have a box of these guys. And I'll move these over so you can see. And then right behind them, I have, this one is the chicken burritos right there. And then we have some bean and cheese burritos right back there. And on top are some homemade Hot Pockets. Those things are so good. Again, if you wanna know how to make any of these recipes, go ahead and head to the Freezer Meals Lunch video that I will have linked down below for you guys. They were actually super easy to make and those Hot Pockets, I'm still dreaming about them. We ended up having them for dinner, which is why I don't have very many of them left in the freezer, but I loved them. We have a pretty small lunch section just because lunch tends to be a pretty easy meal for us, especially if we have leftovers, we tend to eat leftovers for lunch. So I just have a little bit for lunch there. And then we mainly focused on dinners, as you can see, because by the end of the night, especially when you're postpartum, it's kind of hard to think <laughs> and you just want something easy. So up here, I have two bags of the honey sesame chicken. Now I haven't tried most of these other recipes yet. I took them from a gal's blog and I have all of her like recipes recipes linked in my freezer meals videos, but this one we did try. I made like a batch for us to eat that night and it is so, so good. I can't even describe to you. That's why I ended up making two of them. And then right down here, we have some chicken enchiladas. You can see the enchilada homemade enchilada sauce I have right there. That enchilada sauce is to die for. It's so good. And then right under here, we have some Mexican lasagna. If you guys have ever heard me talk about that over on my Instagram, you know that we love it. And Derek actually requests that one quite a bit. He's very picky. So that is definitely a good one to keep on hand. Then our next one down, this again is dinner and kind of like miscellaneous meats. So over here we've got, let's see if I can remember it. This is chicken French dip, white chicken chili, and this one is country boneless ribs right here. So I made these three again in my freezer meals dinner video. I have two freezer meals dinner videos. So I'll have both of them linked below. And that's my freezer telling me to close the door. Okay, let's keep going. And then right here, I actually had plans to make carnitas and I could not find the pork shoulder anywhere. I just went ahead and bought these ones from Costco. They're the Del Real brand, Del Real brand and we actually really like them. They're really good. So I bought those while they were on sale. Comes with two packs in there. 
And then we have all of these meats that I've made on the side here. They're already made and ready to go. All you have to do is thaw them out and add them to your recipe. So super easy. We have some already ready-made shredded chicken, two of those guys, some ground turkey back here, two of those guys, and then some taco beef meat right here, two of those guys. And then over here, I've got some meatballs for meatball subs. These are beef meatballs. And then back behind those, I have two bags. You can see them kind of stacked on top of each other right there. And those ones are turkey meatballs. So those can be used for anything, meatball subs, or even just on spaghetti. Uh, scooch those back in there. These freezer bins are all from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, whichever one. And they were all about $4.99 a piece. And they're actually really coming in handy to keep all of these smaller freezer bags together nicely. Down here, I have two things of meat sauce lasagna. Other than the meat, it's totally vegan and is gluten-free lasagna. So again, if you want to know how to make that, it's in the dinner freezer meals video. And then I've got some cilantro lime chicken right here and some turkey chili. We are definitely well stocked. And then down here is our dog food in case you were wondering we feed them raw and then they eat raw bones as well over here on the door just the essentials you know <laughs> a crap load of popsicles we love these good pops from thrive i'll have thrive linked down below for you guys in case you want to check it out that's the only place i've been able to find these otter pop looking ones and they're so good loki bear loves them we love them because there's no artificial dyes in them and they actually taste really good too. We have a cheese <laughs> drawer, I guess you could call it, little door handle thing. Two of these shredded cheeses and one of these cheese snack portions. And unless I literally give birth tonight at 37 and two, <laughs> these will probably be gone by the time sis is even here. And then down here we have some miscellaneous meats. So we've got some bacon that we didn't end up using from the bacon pack at Kirk. Well, it's like Kirkland brand, which is Costco's home brand. We have one thing of tortilla like street taco tortillas back here and one thing of burritos back here those will also honestly probably also get used before sis comes but if they don't that's great and we still have them and then right here we have two things of breakfast sausages again also from costco we love these ones they're the sugar house maple ones and they come in a pack of three and so that's why we still have two of them here and then the adel's chicken apple sausage right back here we have two of those sitting right there also comes in a pack of three at costco and that is the freezer. If you have a free printable or something like that that you wanna use for your freezer inventory, I think that's awesome. It would make it look a lot cuter. I just went ahead and wrote out our freezer inventory right here based on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You could also have a separate section for like meats or cheeses down here, but I just went ahead and added them in. So you can see we've got our chocolate chip muffins, apple cinnamon muffins, smoothie bags, breakfast burritos, oat cookies, and breakfast sausage. And anytime there was more than one of something, I would go ahead and put two little check mark boxes. The point of this inventory is for it to kind of be a running inventory a little bit, just so we don't end up missing anything or planning on something being there when it's actually not. So if we use one, we'll just check off one box. If we use two, we'll check off two boxes and then cross it out. If we use all the oat cookies, we'll just cross it out. So I'm sure that makes sense. I'm sure it was honestly self-explanatory and I didn't even need to say it, but for lunch, we've got the chicken burritos, bean and cheese burritos, hot pockets, homemade, and the chicken apple sausages. Those can also be used for dinner, but they are a great lunch as well. We have two of those guys. And then over here, we've got meatball subs, sloppy joes, uh, chicken French dip, Mexican lasagna, chicken enchiladas, turkey chili, cilantro lime chicken, country barbecue ribs, white chicken chili. And then these are kind of like the meats or anything that I had more than one of. So ground turkey, shredded chicken, some taco meat, turkey meatballs, meat lasagna, honey sesame chicken, and the carnitas. I'm just gonna cut this out so it has like a nice clean line and hang it up on our freezer and attach this pen to it so that we can mark anything out. Hello you guys from my bedroom. I am actually sitting here bouncing on the ball. I am 38 weeks and two days or one day today having some contractions and stuff like that. But actually I forgot to end this video, but you guys saw everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You got tons of motivation and inspiration from it. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments below and I can definitely do more things like this. I love talking about organization. So see you guys next time. Bye.